In Colombia, our correspondent Charles Parkinson has been looking into the fragile relationship between former President Alvaro Uribe and the country's media. Here's his report. For Mario Morales, a Colombian media analyst, the recent assault launched by former President Alvaro Uribe against Telesur and Bogotá's Canal Capital are just the latest example of his attacks on the media and contempt for press freedom. Faced with criticisms, denunciations and accusations based on investigative journalism from, from reporters, Uribe, instead of responding, and this is all part of a political propaganda strategy, he accuses, makes claims, he stigmatizes. During a Senate debate in September on his alleged links to paramilitarism, Uribe accused the two progressive outlets of being at the service of terrorism. It's a persecution that emerged 12 years ago and has been constant. It simply corresponds to his interpretation of the media, which is that they are not in the line with his politics, they are simply servants of terrorism. Uribe's fierce attacks on the media have in the past gone unpunished. But with his influence waning in the face of falling approval ratings and the senator currently engulfed in a separate accusation of a targeted persecution of an individual journalist, perhaps this time he will face the legal consequences of his actions. Charles Parkinson, Telesur in Bogota, Colombia. And thanks to Charles.